your reading for the second half of March. All right, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. It's cool. It's cool. Overall, before we pull any cards, um, I hope these messages find everyone in good health and good wealth and good spirits. You do have a message coming uh, in the section of love and lovers' choices to be made in that regard. Um, there are some endings happening. There's a bit of deception going on here with the endings. Um, and it could be the deception of self. It could be things that you found out, things maybe even that you found out about yourself, um, things that you found out about another person. It could even just be uh, things you thought you wanted or needed. Maybe you're just putting a whole end to that and kind of accepting things where they are. <clears throat> There's some balance going on here. I do see you getting a lot of attention. Almost... I don't want to say unwarranted, um, unsolicited, I would say, is more the, the term. We are going to pull from three decks. <clears throat> and we're going to look at an overall well-being. We will look into the area slightly of relationships, uh, money, and career, work, job, that sort of a thing. And then the focal point of the energy currently. All right. There is some stuckness going on here, Virgo. Some say, could be some of you, that maybe that's what the endings is about, right? If, you, if you've been, you know, stuck in your ways, maybe a bit more demanding than usual or been dealing with someone like that, uh, it could be that there's a little bit more compromise needed here, okay? We'll see. Nice, nice. Ezra, please, baby. Sorry about that, y'all. It is what it is. I have a kid, I have a dog. Cool. I have a couple kids, <laughs> but I have one that's still little. One more shuffle here. Hmm. Something's been taken off the table, either by you or another person. I'm also feeling like something's been um, a little bit more refined. This could be by you or others that you're dealing with. Possibly a request, a proposal. Um, of any kind, job offer, work, duties, right, job description, something's been, I'm feeling very much more refined, um, seems a bit more focused, deck here. dive into it. The center focal point and current energy you have going on is full stop to all communication, whatever this was um, that had you feeling stuck, imprisoned. It kind of had you in this vicious cycle of a mental state that you weren't really enjoying. Um, the overall spiritual advice there is to use your intuition, okay? You're being divinely guided, however you view that, whether it is, you know, thinking that someone's lying to you, playing games with you, thinking that something's not meant for you, thinking that you need to walk away from a certain space, certain relationship relationship, certain job, um, uh, even possibly certain lifestyles and habits. 
uh, I feel like you are doing it. There's been a full stop. Now in this energy, it could be that you're just, you need some time, right? Full stop so that I have time to think, mull it over, you know, feel out where I kind of want to go from here. Um, and what I, what I want to do, there does seem to be a challenge of, uh, some sort of mental, I'm, I'm hearing instability going on. Okay. There is, uh, there has been some restrictions placed either by you or to you on some form of communication or movement forward. Honestly, Virgo, I feel like this is by you. This feels very much coming from your direction. Like, uh, it could be possible that you've blocked calls, blocked emails, placed somebody um, in spam. Um, com completely just perhaps you had uh, some potential suitors, uh, maybe someone trying to be your friend, maybe a family member trying to get closer to you, uh, perhaps, you know, several job offers on the table. I do feel like you've cut down lines of communication on purpose um, because it just feels like you needed to restrict some areas of yourself. Like, you know what? That's very personal. That's off limits. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting there with this. And again, you're using your intuition. It's on point as usual. So let's go over here to your uh, well-being, physical, health, and uh, mental. You do got the star in the reverse position with the queen of wands in the reverse position, challenged by the queen of diamonds. So I feel like you, you understand that the outside influences that you've had um, surrounding you weren't really working out for you. It was leaving you feeling hopeless. It was kind of feel like someone's still in your thunder. You haven't felt your best in that energy. And so I do feel like you're trying to gain some stability there. The advice is the queen of swords. Um, in the spiritual advice, you're resilient. You're going to bounce back. Um, you normally do like, uh, as humans, right? What, what other choice do we have, right? You fall, you get back up. What are you going to do? Um, I, I do see that you're, you're very strong mentally. That may be kind of coming through to others as a little bit cold hearted. I don't think it is. I think it's uh, much more about self-preservation and, um, you know, sanity and peace, right? Right. Like I, I, I need peace in my life at this point is kind of how I'm feeling. Um, this reading is coming across and if I, it's really like, I just can't have people, places, things, and jobs in my life that are consistently coming with drama. Like everyone has problems, but it can't be like an everyday all the time thing. It's just too much. And like I said, it, this may be coming off cold hearted to some people, but I don't feel like you mean it in that way. It very much feels like self-preservation. Now, anything could be interpreted a number of ways. I'm not here for that. Okay. So nobody get mad at the messenger over here in the relationships. This could be family, friends, romantic partnerships, um, possibly even work relationships, but I would say m more, um, personal relationships versus work. You have the Empress and the reverse position challenged by the five of, uh, clubs here. You get the five of ones here and you get the, the eight of ones here. It's interesting. This very like cut off of people that are causing you stress. And it's, it's a solid, almost without warning. I think that's how people are perceiving it. I don't think it was without warning. I think you did give these warnings in your own way. I don't think possibly maybe people didn't think that you were going to follow through with it. Um, possibly maybe people didn't think that they were actually being as problematic as maybe you felt they were or vice versa. Uh, so it didn't come as like just out of nowhere, but it, it does feel like someone feels like that. There is, uh, some jealousy in this stack here, um, that's coming off in your direction by others. They, it, it, it's almost someone doesn't feel like you left of your own accord, right? They feel like you left because you had a better offer or somebody else snagged you away or, you know, someone else is giving you more that they can give you or something. It has nothing to do with that. It honestly has nothing to do with that. From what I'm seeing, it's, it's really about self preservation, peace and happiness. Um, and that's just what it is. You may have felt as though you were being a little bit, bit like mother hen over, right? A little bit like, Oh, why are you hovering? Um, or someone may have felt this way about you. Uh, any, and nonetheless, this is, um, this is definitely created some conflict, some confrontation, even, 
the challenge is getting the people out from around you. Okay. And looking at the opportunity that you have there, because that's the spiritual advice is the page of pentacles and the opportunity. So your, your advice is to basically look at what you want, look at the opportunities that you want to create for yourself. Um, because if you're keeping this type of energy around, it's going to be a lot harder to um, accept this in your life because when people want like kind of more easy chemistry relationships, right? The relationships that just flow. Easy company to keep, right? They're not like you are probably not looking for somebody who has a lot of drama in their life. The ones that don't have a lot of drama in their life are not willing to take on somebody who's dealing with a bunch of people who has a lot of drama in their life, right? And I think that's where you're at with this. And that's the advice that's being given to you over here in the area of work. Um, it does look like you're not taking any new leaps. Um, you feel, it, it seems as though you feel pretty balanced as where you are. The challenge is the challenge is keeping the balance. Spirit is asking you to take a good look at what you love in this situation of work and career. Um, if you love it, stay there. If you don't, you need to consider moving on. Okay. The world can, especially in reverse like that with the challenge being the two of pentacles, it can be saying that you're not challenging yourself enough, that you are in a repetitive cycle. And right now it may be working because it is job security and stability, but um, it, that time may be running out. It may not be there for a while. You um, might just look into that and see what you love, if it's worth it to stay there, or maybe it's time to start working on something else just to have a backup in case. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Over here in the area of money and finances, you've got the Knight of Swords challenged by the Eight of Hearts with the advice of the Hermit, okay? The spiritual advice for you is to look at the positive aspects of the Virgo sign. You're coming in right there um, in your own spiritual advice, your own energy coming in, right? So this is, uh, Spirit is asking you to use your strengths, okay? The thing about the night is it's not really sturdy. It's not solid. It's not really to be trusted. Like I wouldn't put all my eggs in the basket of a night. You know what I mean? I mean, it could work out. It could not. It definitely has the potential to grow, but, um, it's not a solid thing. Okay. So I do feel like be careful with what you're saying, especially with that eight of eight of hearts there, because that is the card of intense, long lasting emotional investment that usually we have to walk away from. Okay. So be careful of what you say, uh, mean what you say and say what you mean, especially in the regards of finances. Don't put your, your uh, name on the dotted line. If you don't intend to keep, keep your word. Okay. Make sure that the investment's solid, whatever this is. You're being asked to enter a state of contemplation when it comes to your finances. Um, I would say that the, with the Eight of Hearts challenging that Knight of Swords, be very careful of what you say and who you say it to. Not everybody needs to know every move, okay? Uh, especially if you are dealing with large purchases, be careful of who you trust to investigate these purpose, these uh, purchases because they may try to go back door and buy it out from under you, right? You think that they're negotiating on your behalf when in actuality they're using your dime and your offers to negotiate and see what they need to swipe it out from underneath you. That is a warning. Obviously, this is a general reading. Um, take it as it resonates, but you are being asked to use the strengths, your natural strengths to... Uh, level up in your finances and you will be leaving some things behind. So get ready for that. I don't see it being a problem. I think you're going to talk through it. Um, but I would say be careful with who you share your information with. Okay. Let's be, uh, really efficient in our background checks. Um, let's, we're going to need receipts and we are going to need, um, references. You feel me? That's what I have for you, Virgo. I love you very much. And I'll see you next time.